हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ वीक एंड कुकिंग विथ पुनीत टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू ट्राई प्रिपेयरिंग वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फेमस स्ट्रीट फूड्स इन माइसोर उस्मान ड्राई गोभी जस्ट द नेम इज सफिशेंट फॉर दोज ऑफ यू हु हैव टेस्टेड दिस एंड योर माउथ कुड स्टार्ट वॉटरिंग so here what we are going to do is take half a portion of cauliflower cut it into smaller pieces now it's important to note here that i'm not taking away the stem the stem continues to be a part of the preparation so slice them like this uh keep them aside and as we know the gobi is one vegetable that is prone to worms and insects that's the reason we are going to use very very hot water uh, and soak this for 15 20 minutes uh, you can also boil them uh, in hot water so that all the uh, germs or any worms in gobi are taken away so the second part we prepare the paste that is used to marinate this particular dish so we are going to use some maida some rice flour some corn starch and a spoon of coriander dhania powder uh, red chili powder a little bit of salt uh, dry mango or amchur powder and a little bit of ginger garlic paste this is what is going to go into the recipe uh, also sorry garam masala when all this is put into a plate or a bowl uh, mix it really well when you are mixing it make sure that the mixture is evenly spread add a little bit of water when the mixture is uh, ready don't add a lot of water uh, because even the gobi that is going to be used now is in water and it would come with quite a lot of moisture so make sure that you have a thick paste preparation so that being the goal and once this is ready uh, we are going to dip the cauliflower florets into this uh, mix them very well so that the mixture gets into all parts of the gobi and uh, leave it for marination marinate it for at least 30 minutes Uh, so that we achieve the intended flavor so this dish was created by mr zainul abidin almost 25 30 years ago this was created at uh, uh, mysore dasara the famous mysore dasara exhibition where this guy wanted to offer something very unique so he tried with the spice mix that he had prepared at home again we know that the mixture is somewhat with coriander powder cumin powder chili powder turmeric and all those ingredients that we have used now but we really don't know what's the proportion in which uh, it is being used so when he experimented with this spice mix which he had prepared at home uh, it was an instant hit we'll come back to the story while uh, we keep the gobi for marination we are start preparing the mint chutney we're going to use a handful of uh, mint leaves and a handful of fresh coriander leaves put them into a mixer jar and uh, we are going to add a few things here uh, a little bit of curd four to five spoons of curd uh, a half a spoon of ginger garlic paste uh, half a spoon or one spoon of uh, cumin powder some chaat masala a green chili you can also use a couple of smaller pieces and some bit of jaggery also that adds uh, to the flavor it gives you a tangy flavor that's what we are trying to achieve grind all this well to form a very smooth mint chutney uh, it might take about 3 or 4 minutes to achieve this kind of texture that uh, uh, we are looking to achieve so there we go we have the tangy fresh mint chutney ready for us 
so now we are going to make the actual preparation of uh, the dry gobies we are going to heat oil for some time and when the oil is hot uh, we are going to start dropping uh, these marinated pieces of cauliflower uh, into the hot oil make sure that the oil is not very hot uh, in, in my case as you can see here the oil was very hot and a couple of uh, florets got burnt so you can also check this by uh, you know dropping a couple of mustard seeds uh, and as soon as those mustard seeds start breaking that's when you know the oil is hot enough for uh, this preparation you might have to cook them for about five to six minutes uh, before achieving the golden brown color uh, that's what is the intended target uh, at, at that point of time they will still remain to be of the crunchy texture and coming back to the story of uh, Usman Gobi so in the stall when he prepared this 25 years ago the recipe was an instant hit and uh, from then it has been a popular street uh, street food in, in, in Mysore so we have almost reached uh, our intended goal <coughs> And there we go. Here's the best ever dry gobi and it's ready to serve. Enjoy it with the green mint chutney. Uh, savor it with uh, lemon, onion, cucumber. Thank you for watching Weekend Cooking with Puneet and we'll see you next week.